uh, hello friends welcome back to my channel so uh, in this video we are going to see how we can create application with the help of generative ai so uh, we already have configured gen ai in oracle apex with the help of cohere ai uh, ai uh, provider yeah that has already been done configuration has already been done if you haven't seen that video uh, how to configure gen ai in oracle apex uh, please uh, uh, go to my previous video i'll give you a link over here in the description box you can go through that and understand how you can configure gen ai in oracle apex in this video what we are going to do we are going to see how we can use uh, gen ai to create the application right so as we are using the free version of uh, you know uh, uh, cohere uh, generative ai uh, so it will not take multiple commands uh, but yes you will get an idea that how you can create it Okay, for that, what you have to do, just go back to the um, app builder. I'll click on this app builder, click on this create button. When, once you create, click on this create button, you'll get this uh, create app using generative AI. Uh, so if you have correctly configured uh, gen AI in Oracle Apex and you have enabled app builder over there, you'll get this option over here. Otherwise you will not get this option, right? So uh, configuration and uh, enabling of app builder should, is important uh, before uh, you know coming to this place. All right. So now if I click on this gen uh, create app using generative AI, uh, we'll get a window something like this. You can write your command over here. So I'll say that develop an app using uh, employee and department table. I'll just click on this create thing. Uh, you can write uh, your command uh, over here. I mean, you can just mention the table name and stuff. It will understand uh, automatically. So you can see we got a response, something like this. Yeah. So if you're happy with this, uh, these, uh, you know, pages and uh, and and uh, kind of regions, which is going to get created, if you're happy with it, you can go ahead and click on create application or if you want to add or do some more stuff you can write your comments over here for example if you want to add a dashboard or want to add a chart or graph on any tables data you can write it over here and it will actually accept right so having uh, done all those uh, steps when you click on this create application uh, your application will get created actually your uh, you know all the configuration of those pages you can see over here so if you're happy with all these things, uh, if you want, you can add your, uh, you know, some extra stuff, the featured pages and uh, everything is fine. I'll click on this create application. Okay, you can see that you got this name as well, department and employee management app. So this also you got from uh, Gen AI itself. You haven't written it by yourself, but yeah, you got it. As per the instruction, what you have given to the, com uh, to the command prompt, right? Now let's click on this create application. Uh, and you'll find that your application got create will get created, uh, you know, by giving some in instruction and so. So there is no any, you know, uh, you haven't written anything uh, or you haven't created any page or anything, but you just given a command and your application is ready to use, right? So let let it let it get created. I will run the application and will show how it looks. So as you can see, we have these many pages uh, which got created. I'll run this application and I'll just log into this. Right. So you can see we have this page, which is a home page with uh, employee detail and in the Left side, you can see this. Uh, we have another page at department interactive report. Then we have employee classic report and administration page. This uh, this got created from the feature page, but all these things, these three pages got created from our prompt, what instruction we have given. So this is how you can use Gen AI to create or to build the application also. You can you know give multiple instructions to create different pages and regions and so on. So uh, that's it. That's all about this video. Uh, we'll we'll see you soon. In the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.